it's CJ and Corbin. And guys, we're back with another fun craft. That's right, guys. We're back with another fun craft. And this month, we... <laughs> and guys, today's craft is paper loop sunflower. Yeah. Right, Corey? Yep, we are making paper loop sunflowers today. And actually, because it's That's back to right. <laughs> because it's back to school time in our area, Corey is actually going to make hers into a card for her teacher, and then we're going to put yes, a gift card I'm inside gonna, um, for her. Make a gift card, then the flower. The flower. Okay, and guys, we're going to tell you what we have on our table today. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Corey today. Okay, guys, we have a whole bunch of Crayola construction paper. We have, like, the long sheets and just the regular size sheets here, like the 9 by 12 inch sheets. Is what we did ahead of our video today is we cut out some yellow construction paper into strips. Lots of strips of yellow. Those are going to be the petals of our sunflower. And we have some green strips. Those are going to be for our stems. We cut a few different size uh, shapes of leaves to just add on to our flower. Brown circles. Brown circles. That's going to be the middle, flower. Too, the middle of our flower. And we have some over there, too. And then we have some Crayola Vivid Colors card stock. Because we decided to make our paper loop sunflowers into cards, we're going to use this for our cards. And All right. Guys, guess what? Oh, uh, mine is smoother than her glue stick. Her glue stick is smoother than mine because somebody used mine already a lot. Okay, guys, Corey, let's pick a color for our <laughs> card. Okay, okay, so just to make the base of our card, we're just gonna fold our paper in half. Wait, fold it just in make half. the two sides touch. Just fold it straight down. Yep. Two fast. Yep, just okay. like that. Here's just and just half. push it right there on the crease to fold it. There you go. Then I'm gonna put it right here for the front. See? Okay, so you have your card made. See? And then you'll have the inside there where you can put your message. And we're going to tape a gift card inside. Corey. All right. So let's put our stems down. Let's find our leaves. Two leaves you want. I'm going to put a, one leaf on one side and one on the other side. I'm making a card right now. I think you're going to have to um cut your stem down some. Oh, yeah. So it can fit on the paper. Oh. Put it here. And I'm going to just see how far if I want it to go on my card. Maybe here. So, so guys, I'm just going to put it right here. I'm not doing the same thing her doing. Well, I'm just going to measure it. I'm just going to cut it like right here like so. And then I'm just going to put some glue on the I'm back of my stem. I'm going to later for now. But, um. So I'm just going to put some glue on the back of my here. stem. If I see my nails, I did my nails today. Um, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> And then I'm going to take some leaves to go and on add, oh. either side of mine. Yes. Okay, guys, so I have my stem down, and I have two leaves on either side. And, again, we didn't use, like, a cutting machine or anything. We just drew some of these leaves and stuff out and cut them out by hand just ahead of the video. And so you can just use your construction paper for that. And then up here, I'm going to take my Oopsies. brown circle. Put some I'm making glue. a car right now, but. I am taking my brown circle and gluing that at the top. I totally thought you was like making like a flower only. Oh, I am gonna make a flower on my card. This is our paper loop sunflowers. So if you weren't making this into a card, you can do this exact same thing just down on a regular sheet of construction paper or you okay, know just guys. your full piece of construction paper. Okay, guys. So I got this strip right here. Um, now I'm gonna do some designs. I think I'm gonna do a flower too, just like her. So yeah, let's get started on the flower. I love it. Okay, okay right. guys. Our strips I kept long because I wasn't sure what size sunflowers we were gonna do. But since we decided to do them the card size. I'm going to just take a big bunch of them and fold them in half and cut them again, just like that. See? So now I have a bunch of little strips. And this is where the fun starts. We're going to use these little strips and glue each one together to make the loops for our petal. So just put a little glue on one side or both sides and loop it together. See? And you're going to get a bunch of little loops. And I'm going to sit here and make a ton of those while Corey is doing something amazing on her card. So I'm just putting my loops that I've already made right here so I can have them ready to grab when I'm ready to start gluing them around my flower. Use these, um, use a little flower tip to put it like on sides of it. So yeah. let's do it and y'all gonna see it while I'm doing it. Okay, 
Um, let's do it, guys. So you just um, want to put a little of glue. While Corey is still designing her flower and stem, I'm just here making some right, petals. Corey. We're gonna show you guys again together. You, since we had our strips longer, we're gonna take a big bunch together. And to make them even, we're just gonna fold it in half. Make it like a little bunny ear. <laughs> that is exactly like a bunny ear. All right, then you are gonna take your scissors, take your scissors. and just cut right through there. Top loop. And there. There we got some smaller strips. Take All one right, strip. Corey. Put glue on one end and then pull the other end over and push them together. And that's how we make our loops. For our paper loop sunflowers. And then I'm gonna start adding some of mine on while Corey still makes some loops. I'm gonna take start adding them just right around my flower. Look at that. Just like that. Okay guys, and you see how I'm doing that? I'm kind of doing some like a one layer that I'm going back and adding a few more. You can do that however you like. And so you know how like on a sunflower, you get the little sunflower seeds out the middle, which are delicious. We're gonna just use some black paper and I'm just gonna cut a bunch of little pieces. Doesn't matter how. This is more fun. I'm gonna take some glue here and put it down in the middle. And then I'm going to take some of these little black pieces and just ball them up. Okay, now I'm and doing stick guys, them right on now there. Now I'm going to do the same thing her doing. For our middle of our sunflower. To that. You could just do one big circle, but I like the texture here for like doing the little pieces balled up there. How's it going, Corey? Let's see how you're... Corey, show them what you've got done so far. Lift yours up. Right. Look at that. That is coming out great. That's a fabulous card, Corey. Okay. Yeah. Um, see, yeah. I'm just taking that. These are where my nails are coming in handy. I'm kind of like roughing it up and sticking it right down in there in the glue. There we go. Look at that. That's why you need Some... long nails. It, them come in handy. <laughs> so, yeah, if you have bigger kids who want to use the scissors, they can definitely cut their strips of paper. But for this part, it'll be great for little kids too, who are just using those fine motor skills and want to rip up some paper. Excellent activity. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm going to make some green ones too. No worry, you can make different seeds. These, I'm going to call these seeds blackberry, and I'm going to call these green seeds, hmm, grape. Okay. Yeah. She is doing her own thing over there. Like we said, see, you don't really find, I mean, I don't know if you do or not, but maybe you don't see sunflowers in the wild with green seeds in the middle, but in our creation station, you definitely do. Because you can use your imagination when you're crafting and doing art. Okay, guys, thanks so much for crafting with us today. We had a blast making our paper loop sunflowers and making them into cards. Corey and I are going to definitely add a gift card inside for her teacher. And we want to say happy back to school to everyone who's starting, who's already gone, or who has yet to go. Have a great school year with lots of sunflower sunshine. And lots of sunflowers, sunflowers love to my teacher. Yes, that's the sunflower loves your teacher and all the amazing teachers. Okay guys, you know what you gotta do. If you make this craft, you gotta hashtag Crayola Crafts and tag who? CJ and Corey. That's right guys, and we'll see you next time back in our creation station with Crayola for more fun crafts. Happy crafting! Happy crafting! Peace out, I was gonna Peace say. Peace out. Bye, guys. Peace Crafts out, guys. Is always